thank you very much for your invitation and also uh, Benedetto Sala agree with me in this. And um, we uh, focus our attention in the latest early Pleistocene mammal faunas from Italy, but from a, a biochronological point of view, because we could uh, talk about uh, many different topics, but we uh, are following uh, a sort of review of the, the meaning of different sites uh, in update uh, uh, view of the, the so-called Epivilla Frankian. Uh, it's a matter of discussion because uh, um, I, um, I support the, the name, the term Epivilla Frankian, uh, Professor Sala, Benedetto Sala, mm, it's not so, mm, uh, it, it doesn't agree so much. I see it. he preferred the old uh, terms uh, early Galerian, but we are talking about that uh, now. And, uh, but first of all, I want to remember uh, Augusto Azzaroli because a few months ago, uh, it will be his uh, birthday, it will be arrived in his century, but uh, he died six, seven years ago. But um, in uh, Florence, uh, there was a celebration of his uh, birthday in um, September last year was the anniversary. And uh, but uh, uh, he is, uh, you know, all, you know, all him and uh, his work on bio biochronology is uh, so important and so relevant. And in, 17, in 1977, uh, his paper on uh, the Villa Frankian stage in Italy and the Plyo Pleistocene boundary uh, was a seminal paper on uh, the uh, the biochronology of uh, Western Europe. Uh, it was based on Italian sites, but also there is also Saint Valier and these uh, and these methods uh, were we followed by many students, many scientists. And uh, in seventy seven, he uh, uh, focused his attention on the so called the Villa Frankian uh, uh, term that now we can call um, uh, as a mammal age at that time was considered more, more or less a stage or a continental stage, something it was not uh, so formalized. But now we are going to call uh, Villa Frankian, uh, we consider Villa Frankian as a um, mammal age in a, 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 a major uh, biochronological unit. And he supported the, um, the use of the different faunal units and uh, in the following 20 years, uh, from 77 to 97, uh, Azzaroli himself, but all the, all the Italian uh, com community, uh, worked to improve the, uh, this biochronological uh, framework. Uh, and in particular, uh, the, uh, the focus of today is uh, the latest uh, early Villa Frankian, early, sorry, early place to see and in particular, what uh, Azzaroli called uh, in, in the early 80s um, transitional faunas, uh, the, pas uh, the passage between early to middle Pleistocene. And uh, in particular, he decided to uh, point out the, some of these localities like Ponte Galeria, Domigliara. And uh, in the early 90s and um, until 1997, uh, many different units uh, were uh, proposed. But... Uh, uh, they had no formalization at all. We can see the term Galerian, we can see Proto-Galerian, or uh, also um, other terms with all the other faunal units. And finally, in 1997, uh, all the people, all the vertebra uh, vertebrate paleontologists working on mammals in Italy, uh, with Azzaroli himself, uh, decided to, me, I was a young one <laughs> at that time, I was uh, part of this team, decided to, to make a sort of review of this, uh, of this scheme, of this framework. And uh, finally, uh, we uh, formalized the mammal age Galerian and Aurelian, as you can see there. Um, the latest early Villa Frankian, uh, latest early Pleistocene uh, faunas were considered early Galerian faunas, in particular Colle Curti and Slivia. Uh, 20 years later, uh, uh, other people, uh, European uh, scientists, uh, carried on many, many studies and many interesting, very interesting localities were discovered. So. Uh, the term Epivilla Frankian um, were uh, used again in so many uh, works, and uh, and uh, we decided that with uh, Bellucci and uh, 
Lorenzo Rook and, and me uh, tried to uh, formalize this term because uh, in many papers, uh, Calque, Madurel, uh, but also for Le Vallone, I was thinking the, the use of Baby Villa Frankian was quite uh, wide, widely used, but uh, uh, we tried to formalize this uh, biochron. In particular, we decided, we su su suggested the, the use of the, some bio events like uh, the uh, first occurrence of Premegacerus verticornis and Bison Menneri uh, in a Western Europe uh, perspective. And uh, the end of Epivilla Frankian uh, were considered with the, the first occurrence bio event uh, of the first occurrence of Crocuda Crocuda. In particular, the, uh, the, the beginning, the Premegacious Vertigornis for, uh, for, uh, first occurrence uh, was the same event uh, considered for the Liozzi et al. 1997 uh, uh, transition from Villafrancian to Galerian. And um, in particular, um, also the interesting elements are the, the occurrence uh, of Megalocerus Savini and Suscrova Briscus. So finally, this is uh, our update uh, biochronological framework with the uh, Epivilla Frankian considered as a mammal age, including uh, Collecurti and Slivia faunal units, two faunal units that in 1997 were considered early Galerian. And uh, we restricted the, the faunal units uh, referred, referred to Galerian uh, just with Ponte Galeria, uh, a, a locality near Rome that gave the, the, the eponym of the, the Galerian himself, itself, and Isernia Lapineta and Fontana Ranuccio. Uh, there is a discussion about this. Not all the colleagues, not all the, the students are agree with the, such a framework. And we're discussing also with, with Benedetto Sala, who mm, consider Ponte Galeria not very well defined, but Ponte Galeria could or should be uh, transformed in Venosa Notar Chirico could be, could, uh, this locality, um, these localities have may, uh, more or less the same age. Anyway, we, we are, uh, tomorrow there is a, um, a presentation on um, Venosa Notar Chirico, but uh, I'm focusing my presentation only on the biochronological uh, aspect. And uh, so uh, it's a very important, you know, you know all uh, that is such a, an important uh, moment of the, eco, uh, the terrestrial ecosystems in, um, in Europe. Uh, the latest early Pleistocene uh, is characterized by this uh, change in uh, oscillation, the climate oscillation. There is a shift from uh, 41 kilo years to almost uh, 100 uh, uh, kilo years. Uh, uh, orbital rhythm, and so there is uh, the, the, the beginning of the real ice age, if you consider this term as acceptable. And uh, so it's um, the, the transition is called uh, generally used uh, with this acronym EMPT, so early middle places in transition. And also, of course, the terrestrial vertebrate faunas were strongly affected by this changing. It's exactly what we call now Epivilla Frankian or the the early Galeria Sensu uh, Liozzi et al. in 1997. And so I want to show you some of these the important localities from Italy that will support the, uh, the framework uh, started by Azzaroli and then uh, used uh, with different uh, version, uh, generally used all in all Western Europe. An interesting locality, uh, the, the, the possibly located at 1.3 million years uh, following Magri et al. 2010, uh, could be considered Madonna della Strada in the Scopito Basin. And I think it's uh, appropriate for also for this meeting because uh, from this locality uh, discovered in the 50s of the, nine, the, the following century, the, the last century, uh, there is a, almost a, an almost complete skeleton of uh, Mudus Meridionalis. Um, there are also hippos, uh, possibly Hippopotamus antigus, uh, some rhinos, uh, possibly referable, referable to Stefano Rinos Uncemensis, and cervids and bovids, fragmentary remains. Um, but uh, also it's very interesting, the paleo uh, paleobotanical data who support the, the idea that this locality can be placed among 1.3, 1.2 million years. 
and but in particular the this complete skeleton is amazing and um, Azzaroli uh, used this uh, this uh, fossil this uh, fossil skeleton to define uh, the the subspecies Mammutus meridionalis vestinus that is not used anymore um, and uh, this skeleton is in the castle in L'Aquila uh, in Abruzzo and uh, were uh, affected by a, a strong uh, earthquake uh, some years ago. Luckily, uh, the, the skeleton had no, uh, very, had no great uh, damages, but uh, now uh, there is a new project to um, restore and uh, reprepare this, uh, this skeleton. And I show you this now is uh, this skeleton, this complete skeleton, just a task is uh, on the ground is not uh, original, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, has been um, uh, uh, scans, uh, laser scanned, and now uh, there is a virtual uh, 3D model of the complete skeleton. So uh, a lot of, of scientific studies are in progress, but also uh, this um, this uh, skeleton, this virtual skeleton, is going to be used as going to be used to uh, as a um, uh, an educational tool for uh, promote promote the the study of paleontology in that area. Anyway, uh, a locality that uh, Azzaroli considered very important as a transitional uh, faunal assemblage uh, from. Uh, early to middle Pleistocene was Domigliara Selva Vecchia and uh, near Verona in the northeastern Italy. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no many fossils come from this locality that and they are uh, coming from a bone breccia, uh, karst filling deposits. So there are, uh, the age of this assemblage is, is really not clear. Uh, some elements of, from rodents, but especially the occurrence of this uh, homotherium, uh, as you can see, uh, su suggested and supported an, an age of uh, uh, late early, uh, late early Pleistocene, around uh, 0 0.9 million years. And, there is another breach uh, with uh, some uh, elements that can be considered uh, referable to Krokuda. It could, it, it could be a very important uh, information, but the age and unfortunately no stratigraphy of the locality um, let us know to don't, don't consider this locality so uh, affordable. Uh, but it's very interesting, just this, uh, this, uh, this uh, fossil you can see. Uh, the Boni 1984 uh, classified it as Homotherium moravicum, and uh, the upper carnassial indeed is very similar to the, the fossil from Stranska Scala, uh, which is the, 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 the holotype of Homotherium moravicum. But uh, most of the scientists consider all the species uh, um, referable to the suburbitude cat Homotherium not, uh, not valid. Uh, but anyway, it's interesting that it is a morph Moravicum morphotype, if you, if you can consider uh, a valid uh, morphotype. And um, it's a, a huge, uh, a huge uh, suburbitudent cat. Uh, but unfortunately, we have no many other elements to uh, provide a clear uh, age of this uh, fossil assemblage that could be referred to a transitional phase. So. To, Gener generically can be considered Epivilla Frankian. But uh, the most important site uh, from just for the Epivilla Frankian assemblages is Colle Curti uh, uh, from central Italy uh, in the region of Marche. Uh, it has been studied since the beginning of the 90s and uh, many studies are going on, are still in progress and re recently Madurel Malapeira, Italy, uh, studied the carnivores, uh, reviewed the carnivores from this locality. And um, uh, from this locality, uh, there are many, many fossils of, in very good conditions. Uh, some of, a lot of hippos, for example, at least eight specimens. Uh, some of them, this is the huge one, this is a fantastic uh, skull with mandible from Hippopotamus antiquus stored in a museum of paleontology and archaeology in Serravalle di Chienti, in uh, not far from uh, Colle Curti site. 
um, are very are, are a great amount of fossils, and their, their, their study is still in progress by many uh, scientific groups. Uh, they've complete uh, updated the uh, faunal list, uh, include uh, Hippopotamus antiquus, as you can see, um, um, Stephanorinus uncemensis, Mammutus meridionalis, and so they are typical with Pseudodama valonetensis, they are typical element of the late Villafranchian assemblages, together with Canis mosbacensis and Canis xenoscion liganoides. But the occurrence of Premegacerus verticornis and uh, the, the early uh, cave bear like Ursus de Ningeri, uh, together with the uh, some derived forms of uh, Microdus alofaiomis, Rufoi, and Pliocenicus uh, suggested uh, since the beginning the, uh, an age uh, older than the late classical late uh, Villafranchian assemblages. And uh, now uh, it was uh, in Iazzi Italy 1997, uh, this locality was. Uh, considered uh, the, uh, the faunal unit were uh, instituted as a faunal unit, a formal faunal unit from early Galerian. Now we can consider it uh, also um, the, 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 the most important faunal unit for the Epivilla Frankian in Italy. Uh, the occurrence of Yainas uh, that were part of the list on uh, the early uh, papers uh, is, is not confirmed in uh, the, the review of, of carnivores uh, uh, carried on by Madurel Malapeira et al. in 2021. Uh, another important locality uh, discovered already in the 50s by Blanc and uh, studied uh, not, not intensively uh, since then uh, for years. It was Montepeglia in Umbria, in central Italy too. Uh, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting locality. Even here, uh, the, the deposit, unfortunately, uh, it does include a, a complete stratigraphy. It's a, a, a cars filling deposit. And so the, also the um, the, the sampling of the of the fossils, especially in the 50s and the 60s, wasn't very well, wasn't accurate enough. And uh, up to now, there are some bias in the in the stratigraphy and in the, in the correct age of the of the fossils. Uh, interestingly, Piperno, in uh, from the 50s to uh, the beginning of the 70s, um, um, published uh, the occurrence of some lithic tools, but. Uh, um, the, the 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 lacking of a um, correct uh, stratigraphical position and uh, or radio dating ages uh, um, carried this uh, data in the in oblio. Uh, nobody can consider it as a good uh, as a good data. But it's interesting because now we know that uh, it could be possible. Uh, unfortunately, no other lithic tools, uh, clear lithic tools, were discovered uh, after that. But uh, Montepeglia is very interesting for also for from this point of view. Um, after Blanc, especially a very interesting work is uh, carried on by Van der Moyland, 1973. Who worked on the rodents and the, so the age uh, uh, of the, the this site was uh, um, followed by, especially from the, um, the the data coming from the the rodents and as you can see there are many many taxa uh, in, included in this uh, in this locality but uh, the uh, this uh, this uh, fauna assemblage. It includes a very fragmentary material and uh, a, a very accurate review uh, is needed because there are some inconsistencies in uh, in the faunal uh, in the faunal list uh, possibly uh, it, it could be possibly related to the fact that uh, there are different levels mixed together or the the, the classification is uh, Based not on complete material. So, Montepeglia from this, uh, the data from the rodents can be considered anyway an Epi Villa Frankian uh, locality. And uh, I show you uh, the, the a recent paper, or at least 10 years ago, already passed anyway, uh, from a, a single uh, specimen of Homotherium, Homotherium latidens. Uh, all the teeth are belonging to the same, uh, same specimen. And uh, 
morphologically and um, uh, from a biometrical point of view, this specimen is very similar to, uh, not from to the Domigliara saber-toothed cat, but more uh, it's similar to the Pironord uh, uh, specimen. And uh, Pironord will be the topic of the presentation tomorrow, okay, presented by Marta, Marta Zarello. Um, Anyway, another very interesting locality uh, studied recently uh, by Benedetto Sala with Fabio Bona is this one, is uh, a locality, uh, uh, the Frantoio, near the Arda River in northern Italy, in, uh, in Emilia Romagna. And it's a, a locality very, very interesting uh, that needs to be protected because uh, is, uh, the outcrop uh, uh, is uh, along a river that sometimes is, um, um, is used by... Uh, uh, is in, interested by human activities that uh, uh, must be stopped be, to, to protect the fossil, uh, uh, the fossil uh, assemblage. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's a very, very interesting uh, locality with a good stratigraphic uh, um, sequence and a lot of, of very interesting animals. Uh, it, it, uh, recently, it has been published by Bona and Sala, uh, and there are many skulls of so many different mammals. The species, as you can see, are Sustrozzi, Stefanorino uncemensis, Ursus dolinensis, Pseudodama farnetensis, a large, a huge bison, Hippopotamus and Premegacerus spi. Um, the odors uh, support the idea that these, uh, uh, these bears uh, cannot be considered the uh, Ursus de Ningeri, as uh, many, many scientists uh, consider uh, as a valid uh, taxonomical position, uh, but uh, they support the idea that could be referred, uh, this material could be referred to Ursus de Linensis or Ursus Rodei, so a, a sort of uh, archaic uh, form of brown bear. Uh, the discussion about taxonomy, of bird, or especially of early Pleistocene uh, birds, is very, very, uh, it's a complicated matter, but uh, this is, material is very, very interesting and uh, really complete. Uh, but the most represented uh, taxon is uh, Stephanorinus uncemensis with uh, many different sp specimens. Uh, this is very interesting skulls, especially mandibles and the uh, element of the skeleton. So many individuals are represented here and uh, they are can uh, refer the, uh, to Stephanorinus uncemensis. As you can see, other uh, many individuals, a, par a partially uh, articulated skeletons also are, uh, are have been uh, discovered. But uh, new field activities are needed to to find more material. And uh, very very interesting is the occurrence of Sustrozzi. Sustrozzi uh, it clearly these uh, these fossils cannot be. Uh, referred to uh, Suscrofa. So uh, it's interesting to see that, that like, uh, just like uh, to Suscrozzi is still present uh, approximately 1.2, 1.1 million years. Uh, these localities has been uh, considered uh, similar in age with Collegurti. And uh, together with the, so this, the late Villa Frankian survivor, uh, there are also an advanced form of Pseudodama that this, uh, the, the odors uh, referred to Pseudodama farnetensis. Interesting also the occurrence of a true bison, uh, bison, bison SP. Um, the odors uh, didn't uh, uh, consider this uh, bovid uh, similar to the subgenus Eobison, typical uh, of Pirro Nord assemblages, or also in Capena near Rome. This is a big one, uh, a big bison. So uh, possibly related to bison meneri or possibly bison voixtedensis or bison, uh, on er an early, early form of bison shetensagi. So uh, this material is not complete enough, but anyway, it's not the early, uh, it's not related to the earliest bovids, uh, early, early bisons like uh, Eubison de Julie, but uh, this is a, uh, a bison uh, similar to the Galerian ones. Uh, another locality uh, usually considered uh, of the 
uh, um, Villa Frankian, uh, uh, Birgan, uh, Abbey Villa Frankian assemblage is a locality near Rome. Uh, this locality doesn't exist anymore. Now there is a uh, Leroy Merlin over it. There is uh, the, the big store. But in the 50, uh, some elements, uh, some uh, fossils were discovered also always by Blanc. And uh, interestingly, the occurrence of Hippopotamus antigus, uh, Stefano Rino, Sun Semensis, and Bovitz and service that need to be studied uh, properly. Uh, some, uh, some researchers are in progress, some materials are in a museum in Sapienza, so we are working on it. But uh, with the ge some geologists are uh, uh, studied and reconstructed the, the, bio strat the stratigraphical uh, uh, section of the area. And uh, they are supporting the idea that uh, the, the assemblage could be similar to the Oslivia, so younger than considered before, so around uh, 0 0.8 million years, more or less. Um, and this is a very important uh, moment of the in the place to see where the uh, long-lasting uh, empire of the Paki Kruguda Brevi Rostri is, is going to abruptly end and uh, the new Yayina uh, dominating the eco terrestrial ecosystems is uh, Kruguda Kruguda or early forms related to the genus Kruguda. Uh, this is, um, we published uh, recently on Quaderna Science Review uh, a revision of the material of the, uh, in this uh, time span uh, about uh, Paki Krukuda Brevi Rostris and uh, and, uh, and Krukuda Krukuda, and uh, it's interesting that up to now we never found. Uh, the coexistence of the two large hyenas. Um, the, the last occurrence of Pachycurcuta brevirostris in Italy is uh, at Slivia. And going to, we're going to see it uh, right now. And uh, in Ponte Galeria area, there is the uh, earliest occurrence at, in Italy uh, in a stratigraphical position of Crocuta Crocuta. Uh, we uh, consider the the the, the Pachycurcuda and the Crocuda bio events of major importance. So, uh, even for formalizing these biochrons, uh, we are using Yainas. Slivia uh, is uh, in the northeastern Italy, is not far from Trieste, um, where the Karst, uh, the Il Carso Triestino, uh, gave the name to the Karstic uh, geomorphological uh, landscapes. And um, uh, this locality is very interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore because it was a, or even here a cast filling deposit now completely destroyed. And it's important for the earliest occurrence of uh, Paloloxodon antigus, Mammutus trogonteris, Cervus elatus acoronatus, and the last uh, appearance datum of Pagi Groguda brevi rostris. I, very, very quickly, I, I'm going to, uh, to, to show you these localities. Unfortunately, uh, the, the, the excavations were carried on by uh, amateurs, uh, not uh, professional paleontologists, and the fossils were uh, uh, distributed in different, uh, in different uh, localities. But up to now, uh, all the material is coming back, uh, went back uh, home, home in Trieste the Museum. And uh, I started a study on this material, I just I can say that possibly Slivia was a uh, Yaina then because among, uh, among the, the fossils there are uh, young Pachycurcutas, yes, juvenile specimens and old, very old specimens. I show you, for example, this is an old one with very uh, worn teeth and uh, some teeth miss, tooth missing and also uh, typical of the, uh, you can see the upper, the lower canine uh, very worn, very abraded. But together, there are also animals that can be considered one here, 15 months, years old, because uh, the, the adult uh, teeth are not completely erupted. Uh, oh, in this case, uh, there is also the, the milk uh, lower canine in, uh, in place. Anyway, uh, just to, to going to an end, uh, in Ponte Galeria, near Roma, uh, there is uh, uh, an important uh, uh, stratigraphic sequence that uh, can be referred to the beginning of the Middle Pleistocene. So uh, in our uh, framework, uh, it is the beginning of the Galerian assemblages and in a stratigraphical position, as you can see, uh, and at an age of approximately 0 0.7 million years, we found uh, two mandibles referable to an early form of crocuda crocuda, uh, an adult animal, as you can see, and uh, an ulna 
compared to a Pachycrocuda one, it's a very different in morphology and uh, in, in size. So this is in Italy, uh, one of the oldest um, crocudas in Europe. And uh, in uh, our point of view, this is the bio event that uh, uh, is considered the beginning of Galerian assemblages, Galerian faunal mammal age. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, I am uh, waiting for you in Roma next year. So uh, we're going to hope to you can uh, come in Roma. <laughs>